friends and welcome back to Fallout 2. In yesterday's video, we did spend the day in Vault City poking around, getting into trouble, collecting new quests, all of those things. We did end our day at the Servant Allocation Center because I am trying to, what is it, rescue Amanda's husband, Joshua. Because we did go to the Correction Center and they said that Joshua was over here at the Servant Allocation Center being broken in. So I imagine I have to talk to this perfectly fine upstanding vault citizen here. You see another <laughs> vault city official. That's great. Yes, what is it? I'm behind in my assignments. Well, wh what is this building? This is the Servant Assignment Center. Servant Assignment Center? What's that? Citizens who need help with menial tasks come here to have a servant assigned to them for the day. That sounds like slavery. Oh, so this is where the slaves are stored. Why didn't you say so? We're not supposed to mention slavery because they don't like it. They prefer to call them servants. Uh, where did you get all these servants? Our servants are usually refugees from raider attacks or contractual prisoners who wish to work off their sentence in a productive manner. At the cost of their freedom, eh? Do you have a contractual prisoner named Joshua in, in custody? Um, oh, you can, and you can get to slave trade? Wow, this fallout too, you can go dark. Joshua, yes, we do have a servant by that name. He was recently transferred from the correction center. Your interest in him is, oh, I don't know what is my interest in him. Um, I suspect he has a contagious disease. You might want to release him before he infects the other servants. Oh, let's try it. Is that so? Are you aware that each servant is thoroughly checked before being admitted into the allocation center? Are you aware of Jane's syndrome? It doesn't show up on most medical scans and its symptoms can lie dormant for weeks. Symptoms? What kind of symptoms? Um, Jane's syndrome. A lot of outworlders have it. Its symptoms include uh, speaking when not being spoken to and using coarse language. Yes, I, I have noticed the, those symptoms in the servants of late. Contagious, you say? Hmm. Well, if this Joshua is a carrier, I shall release him at once. Give me a moment to make the arrangements. No problem. Joshua would be better off with the Outworlders anyway. Really? Was that easy? It's been done. Joshua is no longer a servant of Vault City. Man, having high speech is so awesome. <laughs> He's no longer a servant of Vault City, and he has been moved into the courtyard with the rest of the Outworlders. Um, sounds good. Hopefully he won't make his way back into the city. Oh, she, I can barter with this, this fine, upstanding citizen, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, this is my briefcase I got yesterday. Okay, let's talk. Um, I had other questions. Um, looking for the vault. The vault, it's that huge hole in the mountain on the east. Okay. Can anyone get into the vault? No, you need to be a citizen in order to be allowed into the vault. Now, look, I happen to be very busy at the moment. So if you please excuse me. Well, I think I need to, so from what I've picked up over the last couple days is I need to get into the vault to access their computers because their computers can tell me probably where vault 13 is and then I can go there and get the gecko, not the gecko, the geck. Gecko is the city. Um, and then I can get the geck and then go save my village and we all live happily ever after, right? That's, that's the plan. What is this building down here? Actually, no, let's not go into that building just yet. What other what other buildings do I have to go into? Oh, oh, the information center. Let's go in here. Let's save. Oh wait, I, you convinced Barkus to release Joshua and I gave 500 experience. These names. <laughs> I mean like, although they probably think Jane is boring too. Um, okay, rescue man's husband is done. I should probably go check in with her just to make sure I don't get like a reward or more XP or follow-up dialogue would be totally fine too. Oh, you see a gentle looking man in a Vault City uniform. Oh, is he gonna be nice to me? Oh, hello, was there something I could help you with? What is this place? This is the information center for Vault City. Is this the place you were looking for? Yes, actually I had some questions maybe you could answer. Oh, information center, do you have any books or manuals? 
Unfortunately, our books are currently being transcribed into electronic format. The extras are being shipped to the amenities office down the street. Oh, yeah, I've been using those. You might try there. Where are these electronically formatted books sold? Or stored, rather. Or are all the books gone? Yes, well, every everything is being transcribed because, hmm, this is somewhat delicate matter. But I believe my post here in Vault City has become obsolete. Oh no, obsolete. There are just they are discussing putting information terminals in every household. This these new terminals would all be tied to the list server and the information archives. Once that is done, the information center and I will be unnecessary. It's all for the best, really. Oh no, are you sure? Oh my yes, the first citizen is really wrong in such matters. Still, I will be sorry to leave this place. I heard they have a position waiting for me in the in the list office. Oh, well, I'm har sorry to hear that. All the books were transcribed. I'd much rather read books, read a book than stare at a computer screen. I mean, I do get experience that way. That's how I feel as well. I have nothing against electronic format, mind you, but there is a certain sol solidity in having a book in your hands and turning the pages one by one. Hmm, you know. Oh, oh yes. They haven't shipped all the books out to the amenities offices yet. I know Randall won't miss them if I gave them to someone who appreciated them. Someone like yourself. Oh, I'd love to have them. Thank you. I'll go fetch them. Okay. Here you go. I hope you enjoy reading them. They are some of my favorites. A little on the technical side, but still quite good. Thanks. Do you mind if I ask you some other questions? Certainly. What questions do you have? Do you know where I can find a Gek? A geck, that name sounds familiar. What does it do? You know, I don't really know myself. To hear the elder of my village tell it, it's supposed to be some panacea for my village. I'm a little skeptical. Let's not, let's not, let's not tell them all this. I don't really know. Hmm, well, you know, the central computer down in the vault might have some information about it. We keep most of the older archives down there. How can I get down to the vault? Well, you need to be a citizen of the vault first. If you want, you could take the citizenship test or better yet, speak to first citizen Lynette. I'm sure she might make an exception in your case. Uh, I am a citizen. Oh, you are. Pardon me. Pardon me. Well, then you are permitted to simply walk down there and use the computer. I'm not, though, am I? Not enough. Barter? Okay. What books did this fine fellow give me? He gave me an electronic book and a science book. Amazing! That, you are a kindly, kindly soul. And I wish good things upon you. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm not still gonna steal from you, though. But you probably have nothing to steal because all your books are gone. Aren't they? Oh, darn. Okay. Can we talk to these... I like how the, the game is like a vault city slave. They're, they're not beating around the bush. Well, then you wouldn't be a slave? I miss my family at first, but it has been many years since I saw them. Oh. Speaking against, speaking to outsiders is against the rules. Okay, so I did correction center. I can't get in the vault apparently. There's a crazy man who gave me the briefcase. I just have this one down here left to go into. Okay. Where where am I? No, seriously, where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> I'm like, where did I go? Okay. I don't think I'm going to check your gear again. Let's go into the door, though. Not the tree. Oh. She's a slave. He's a... I don't know. I wonder what vault number it was, though. Let's talk to this lady. Pardon me, can I help you? The servants, oh, we use them for menial tasks. You're an outsider? Invite... I'm sorry, did we invite you in? Yes? Story. 
Oh, wait, hang on, door. Oh, is that Vic in there? Um, I should save. Oh gosh, don't, don't crash. <laughs> don't crash, please. Please wipe your feet before entering the house. I did, I totally did. These guys aren't very nice, are they? Okay, we've got noodles, sander root, rock flour, one on a stick and fruit. Okay, we'll take all that stuff. I used to have two children, but they were shipped northwards. I hope they make their way here someday. Oh my gosh, these people are horrible. Sorry, did we invite you in? I don't think you did, but you know, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Guys, can you get out of the way, please? Like, I mean, <sighs> they're like all in the way. Scooch it. Scooch, Vic. Move, I mean, really, really. Oh, finally. Okay, there was another area up here. Okay. Well, let's go up there and see who else we can rob and what other, I'm sure, fine upstanding people. It's just amazing to me, they're, they look down upon outsiders, but yet they resort to slavery. You know, it's just not, not really cool, obviously. You've entered Vault City's council area, ooh. I'm sorry, did you say something? Hey, what's here, a bunch of houses? Ooh, oh, oh my. Wow. That's a building. Okay. Save, let's save, just in case we like piss people off because we're going places we're not allowed to go. Hmm, I need to get a servant to hose out the storeroom. I'm sorry, did we invite you in? Probably not. What did you guys do in the in the storeroom? Citizens tell us that our service allows them time for more important matters. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's just a bathroom. I'm just waiting, I was waiting for like bodies to be piled up in the corner or something horrible. Okay, I'm leaving your house. Rude. I know it's probably polite, but I don't have like a knock on the door option. So I, I have no choice but to be rude. No, I'm gonna go talk to your servant because they don't care if I steal from you. <laughs> okay, there's nothing there. So what's going on here?
Oh, sorry, I almost mistook you for a servant. An outsider? How quaint. I haven't been hitting my shift button very well, but I'm sure it's fine. Central Council. Oh, there's a parlor room? I wonder what the parlor room does. Probably something horrible. Okay, let's say before we go into the council area. Elderly Vault City official. A grim looking bureaucrat with a narrow face and a thick eyebrows. Stern looking woman with thick glasses wearing a Vault City jumpsuit. Judging from her bearing, she seems important. Oh, what? Didn't they say there was some. Oh, I can't remember her name. There was some lady in charge? You know, you gotta check the bathrooms. You never know what they could keep in their bathrooms. Normal looking podium for public speaking. Hello, can I help you? Well, who are you? I'm Senior Councilman McClure, and you are? Jane, it's pleased to meet you. What can I do for you? I don't know, man. What can you do for me? <laughs> I think I need to stop asking about the get because people might start to get suspicious. Uh, can I ask you some questions? What's your job here? I'm the Senior Council Member. I oversee the council meetings. And then what does the First Citizen do? She is the leader of the people. The citizens of Vault City look to her for guidance, but the citizens through the council still have final say on matters. In these trying times, she is the pillar of our society. Trying times? What do you mean? Things have been tough these last two years. The NCR has been getting more aggressive in their attempts to get Vault City to join the Republic. They tell us that if we were to join, they would be able to defend us from the raider attacks on our city. As of late, these raider attacks have become more brutal. On top of all that, all of this, we have ghouls and gecko contaminating our groundwater. What? What is gecko? It is a forsaken place, a shanty town built around the remnants of an old atomic power plant. Well, where is this place? I know where it's at, but let's ask it anyway. It is just northeast of here, but if you are planning on going there, I would advise you to purchase some anti-radiation drugs. If they are contaminating our water, it is likely their town itself is irritated. I was gonna say irritated, <laughs> irradiated. Um, let's see. Uh, trying times indeed, let me ask you more questions. What can you tell me about the first citizen? She's a leader of our people. The citizens of Vault City look to her for guidance, but the citizens through the council still have final say on the matters. In these trying times, she's a pillar of our society. Okay. Other questions. How does one become a citizen? You wish to become a citizen? Well, we would be pleased to have you. All you need to do is talk to pro-council Gregory and he will give you the citizenship test. Where can I find this pro-council Gregory? You'll find him in the East Wing. His office is across from the First Citizens. Um, hang on, there was another... Okay. I, mean, I need to go and find this uh, lady to talk to. First. I feel like there's somebody in here. Oh, there's not. Look at that. Of course. Of course. I'm guessing this is her right here. Because that would make the most sense. An air of importance about her. All right, let's talk to her. Good day to you, stranger. Oh my goodness. I am First Citizen Lynette. May I inquire as to your business here? Oh my goodness, how long has it been since I have had an actual voice acted character? This is great. My 
Oh, my, I, I don't mind reading all the text because I would need to do it anyway, but it's so nice to have voice acting every once in a while. Um, I am in search of the Garden of Eden creation kit. First citizen, does your city have one I might purchase? Um, No, let's not say that. Well, maybe. Uh, excuse my ignorance, first citizen. Does the title first citizen mean you are the overseer of this vault? This is Vault City. Why don't you live in a vault? Um... Let, let's ask. Where did one such as you hear of a Garden of Eden creation kit? I'm I'm in need of one to save my... Such technology is not meant for outsiders. You got a problem with outsiders? My apologies. Is there a problem being an outsider, First Citizen? I am the descendant of the Vault Dweller, First Citizen. The Gek is required to help my village. Ooh, let's try that one. Descendant of the Vault Dweller? What do you mean? I, I, I mean, I am the great-grandchild of the first vault dweller. I'm wasting my precious time talking with you. Fetch the overseer at once. Uh, I'll try the first one. The first vault dweller? What? You must mean another vault. We have never been in contact with another vault. Where is it located? I think this was the vault my ancestor originally came from. I don't live in a vault. I came from a tribal village from the west. I don't know. You see, I'm trying to find the vault my ancestor came from. Oh, now I understand. But what proof do you have that your ancestor was from a vault? Um, her voice sounds like Tandy, doesn't it, from the first game? Maybe a little bit. Obviously less angry <laughs> and whiny. <laughs> Stories passed down from the Elder. No, I have the vault jumpsuit and this canteen. They belong to my ancestor. Very well. Let me see. These, these are authentic. Unbelievable. You are a survivor from another vault. Welcome to our city. You must have suffered much in the outside world. I need to find the vault my people came from. I need a Garden of, Asian, Garden of Eden kit. Do you have one? Oh, so now I'm welcoming your city. Forget this. I'm out of here. You have no idea. But I'll tell you about the Temple of Trials. Mother time. <laughs> Now, I need to find the vault my people came from. Hmm. Perhaps some mention of your vault is in our computer archives. Okay, well, can I check? First citizen, it's very important to me that I find out the location of my ancestor's vault. If I could check the archives, I would be grateful. That sounds very nice. We could check the vault computers. They would probably have the information you seek. But only citizens are allowed to access the archives. Yeah, I don't think I can scam her into saying I'm a citizen because I'm not. Is there some way I could become a citizen? You may speak with Proconsul Gregory. He has authority to administer the citizenship test. He can be found in the meeting room down the corridor. Okay, I will go talk to the Proconsul then. Or there is another way to become a citizen. Another way? What is it? Rather than taking the test, you could prove your commitment to the vaults in a more substantial way. As an outsider, you are in a unique position to resolve a difficult situation for us. What kind of situation? Of course, whatever the vaults need, it is my duty to deliver. I don't know, isn't the citizenship test a standard procedure? What kind of situation? There's a town, if you could call it that, to the northeast of our city. It is filled with Creatures that are polluting the groundwater with dangerous radiation. Oh, is this the gecko ghouls or something? How are they poisoning the groundwater? What do you want me to do about it? Yeah, how are they doing it? Those things are operating a damaged atomic power plant. You see, they are immune to radiation. They don't care that they are slowly killing us with their poisons. What do you want me to do about it? I'll take care of the problem. I'll be back when the situation's resolved. Sounds like you're doing the world a service. Find, sounds like they're doing a world a service. Find some other outsider do your dirty work. Yeah, what do you want me to do about it? Be specific, please. Disable their plant permanently so that they cannot cause any more damage. How exactly is the plant releasing radiation? Those things are operating oh, yeah. to disable their plant permanently so that they cannot cause any more damage. Sounds easy enough. I'll be back when the situation's resolved. Can I barter? No. I have, I have a feeling I have a new quest. 
Oh, Gecko. Solve the Gecko power plant problem. Solve the Gecko power plant problem. Okay. A person talked to me. <laughs> A person talked to me. Oh, I'm so happy. Can I... I can't. How about this one? Can I go in here? I'm shutting the door on you guys. Don't come with me. This is why there's nobody in it. There's nothing worth taking. Day, I do have a day pass, actually. Who is this guy? I'm sorry, can I help you? Well, who are you? I am Pro Consul Gregory. Is this the office you were looking for? What do you do around here? I am the assistant to the first citizen. I schedule her appointments, administer the citizenship test to potential applicants, and update all the lists on the Vault City server. No small task, I assure you. Okay, I don't want to take the citizenship test because, A, I don't know if I'd pass it. And B, I want to do things the long way, of course. <laughs> well, at least on this time around. Well, for this specific quest. That, that's what I should clarify. I suppose, what is it you would like to know? What can you tell me about Gecko? Gecko, it's a filthy shanty town to the north inhabited by those creatures, those ghouls. They're responsible for poisoning our groundwater, you know. It's an obvious act of terrorism against Vault City. And how exactly are they doing that? Their shanty town is built around the remains of an old atomic power plant, a plant they somehow started up again, and that is now leaking radiation. Those creatures need to be driven out and that plant shut down. Um, we'll talk again later. Can I, um, can I rob you? <laughs> Maybe? No, I can't. How about this guy? Who is this poor soul here? There's nothing to, to steal. Okay. All right, so we definitely need to go to Gecko next because we need to get into that vault to figure out where to, where to go to Vault City. Probably. I mean, I've got other places I can go, no doubt. I will go to all of them. Okay, let's... No, let's not save. I just saved. Go into the parlor room. Huh, what's this place all about? Please stand over there. A bartender. Uh, well, what's on tap? On tap, how quaint. We have mineral water, distilled water, and sparkling water. We also have several synthesized alcohol. Um, I was just looking for some information. Then perhaps you should be at our information center instead of this establishment. It is located downtown. Now move along. I have other customers. Hold on, I want a drink. What have you got on tap? No, I think you'll tell me what I want to know first. And you'll leave the attitude out of your voice, too. Can we trade? Goodbye. They're all so rude. See your day pass? I mean, like, let's just keep going in room, each room. I wish there was a way that, like, I could park my friends somewhere so that, like, when I go inside and I don't actually need them, they could. Oh, hi. I knew communal bathrooms weren't a good idea. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I realized it after I, I walked in on you. Oh, look. A bookshelf. And a first aid book. Great. Yeah, I bought it. Oh, I can't see anything because of the tree. Isn't there a desk here? I bought a first aid book the other day, and apparently I didn't probably need to do that, but... 
it's too late now, it's fine. It's all perfectly fine. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's everything over in this area. Oh, no, wait, what's in here? You're out of here after 6 p.m.? Okay, it's a guards. Okay, I probably can't rob that. And there was nothing over there. Okay, so I'm gonna head back out to the main area because on Wednesday, we are going to head to Gecko and check on this ghoul power plant situation. And then I also wanna to talk to the people I saved before I leave town. I also need to get some ammo and better weapons and whatnot. So I may do some of that before I start on Wednesday, but uh, I'll worry about it on Wednesday, like like normal. But the plan is to head to Gecko. That's the overarching plan. And I'm, I'm explaining poorly and now I'm officially rambling. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Wednesday with another new Fallout 2 video.